Hello, my name is Carl Becknell. Welcome to the third video on seeding an idea project. So far we've looked at seeding using the manual method. In the second seeding video we looked at seeding using uh, a database and today we're going to be looking at seeding using an engine. I'm going to, uh, or I intend to make another video after this one, um, going into much more detail about uh, some of the specifics of how this is done and um, pairing up one engine with another and so on. But just for this one I want to treat it quite simply and quite briefly. I've got here a position in an idea project on the Sicilian defence where Black has played a very early A6 and I've added a load of positions from my database but in my idea project I note that the move Bishop E2 is coming out on top However, I suspect the reason why this is the case is because there aren't many games with bishop e2 in it and that's the reason for the relatively low um, number of positions analysed after bishop e2, in fact just one. Uh, and clearly if I'm going to make any progress to try and determine whether bishop e2 is a good move or not, I need to abandon uh, my database and switch to an engine. You'll often find when you're analysing the opening that a point will come where you'll have to abandon whatever database you're using and go it alone and therefore you need to be able to turn to an engine to help you. We all do this, it's called infinite analysis, we've done it for decades but the difference with doing it in a seeding type way is that we can do some independent analysis in sandbox, which I'll come to in a minute, using a totally different engine that we're using uh, to the one we're using in IDEA and we can still send the analysis that it comes up with into our idea project to be cross-checked by our idea engine. I'll explain what I mean. I'm using Komodo for my idea project so I'm going to go to first of all I'm going to uh, copy this game as a PGN. I'm going to go to Sandbox. I'm going to right-click in the notation window and paste that uh, paste those moves in. Then what you do is you make sure the analysis tab is checked, you go to idea, you go to linked project and you go to um, you go to the right one which is uh, Sicilian Komodo 6 in my case. I want to show you something which is um, click on this down arrow here at the bottom left and go on to stage status. I'll explain why we've got that window up in a moment what this does is it shows us how many positions are uh, in the queue waiting <coughs> excuse me waiting to be analyzed by idea at the moment it's zero which is what we'd expect now what you do is on the analysis tab go to start and click on an engine which you are interested in yeah I'm gonna choose Ribka because Ribka 4.1 is not a top engine anymore but it is still a very interesting engine and so I'm going to analyze with that engine in my sandbox um, place and I'm going to send uh, all of Ribka's analysis to my Komodo Sicilian project for Komodo to cross check and analyze le at a later date. Let's see how it works. Click OK, click Start. Hopefully the Ribka engine will fire up and of course the beauty of analysing in Sandbox is uh, you can stick all of your cores into your um, engine. So I'm running this on 16 cores and it's going along quite merrily. And now look up here in the stage status and you'll see that it's already added seven positions to the analysis queue. And what it's doing is it's, it's sending this line here into my idea project. And just so um, you don't think I've pulled the wool over your eyes. See it's creeping up by itself, it's gone up to nine. Just so you, you don't think I'm pulling the wool over your eyes, let's go back to our idea project in a more uh, in the more conventional way of seeing it, which is down here, idea, and you can see that sure enough there are nine tasks in the queue now waiting to be analyzed. And those nine tasks have come from Sandbox, they've come from Ribka, and they're now sitting in my idea project which Komodo, which is my idea engine, will analyze at a later date when I tell it to. And this is wonderful. You may not have grasped how um, 
brilliant this concept is, so I'll just try and explain it briefly. What it means is, is that in the past we've all been used to analysing using infinite analysis, using our engine of choice, often leaving these things running for hours, overnight even. But although at the end of it you can write down its analysis, basically a lot of it gets lost particularly when the engine changes its mind, which it regularly does, you know, over which move is the best. The beauty of doing it using Aquarium in Sandbox and sending those positions to IDEA is that nothing is lost. Every time Ribka comes up with a new PV here in Sandbox, it will send that PV, that principal variation, it will send it to IDEA, and IDEA will analyse it. So if, for example, um, Ripka suddenly changed its mind, it thought the move G6 was a really good move, which I think actually is worth a look. Uh, it would send that whole analysis to uh, to IDEA and we could explore it. Um, look, I'll just show you what I mean. I'll force G6 on the board and what you should see is that number going up now because new positions will be analysed and sent through. There you go, it's jumped to 16 and as we, as we leave it, it will quickly jump up. We go to I, IDEA project in full and you can see the numbers match, 17 tasks are waiting to be analysed. OK, so in a nutshell, very simply, that is how you seed an idea project using an engine. In our next video, we'll, um, we'll cover that in more depth. The only last thing for me to say now is if you're confused about how you add an engine in the first place, remember it, that's all covered in the second video, which was on uh, setting, uh, setting up a, a project. So. Uh, you can go to that as a reference. In the next video I'll look at uh, how engines kind of work together, which ones are good uh, combinations and, and that sort of stuff and um, what we're really looking for in an analysis engine and also in an idea engine. But for now that's just a simple overview. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching.